New developments tonight after the death of that suspected serial bomber in Austin. What investigators have now found in Mark Anthony Condit's home in the locked room where he worked. Here's ABC's Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas tonight. Tonight, as teams pour over the home of suspected Austin bomber Mark Condit, officials say police have found a locked room in his home used to make bombs, along with a hit list of potential targets and addresses. They went out um, to these residences and then swept them to make sure there were no explosive devices. It comes as new images surface of Condit buying electronic parts days before the first deadly package bomb exploded. KXAN TV obtaining surveillance from that store. Video turned over to the ATF more than a week ago. Investigators painstakingly putting the bombs back together, finding parts like nails and screws, then tracing them back to possible stores. Clearly closing in, but the big break coming when Condit walked into that FedEx drop off and mailed two bombs. Police sharing details about a 25 minute confession recorded on Condit's phone just hours before that explosive takedown. There were indications that he stated in the video that he felt like we were getting very close to him. The 23 year old repair technician had been homeschooled, dropped out of college, and was unemployed. His chilling final words, according to ABC affiliate KVUE, I wish I were sorry, but I'm not. It is the outcry of a very uh, challenged young man talking about challenges in his personal life that led him to this point. And Pierre Thomas with us from Washington tonight. Pierre, we heard the chief there talk about the recording on the bomber's phone, him talking about challenges in his personal life. His family saying they had no idea of the, quote, darkness uh, in their son's life. And his mother had posted some very typical things on Facebook about her son. That's right, David. The post is from 2013, and it reflects more innocent times. His mom talks about how he just graduated from high school and her hopes for his future. The family says they never saw this coming, David. Pierre Thomas with us again tonight. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.